time waits for no one, meaning when you just allow your life to waste away, when you allow yourself to think, oh, things will happen, things will drop from the sky, it does not work like that. We need to allow ourselves to make things happen, to take our time to realize that there's a difference between taking your time and wasting your time. Taking your time is, is, is going over the steps and realizing that the step-by-step -step process. Wasting your time is living in the past and thinking about a future that will never come because the future is what we make it in the moment. And that is what creates the future is in the moment. And living in the moment takes you away from living in the past. Living in the past is a, an imprisonment inside of your mind, heart, and soul. And living in the future is not allowing yourself to live in the moment. So, in order for us to have a better future and to have our dreams be manifested in the future, we need to envision the future that we want inside of our head, minds and realize that by envisioning these things and by embracing these visions, what is it going to take for these things to happen? It's living in the moment. Because the source is in one moment. Where the source dwells, which is outside of creation, it's just one moment. And the source is will for the creation to be just like source, because source is creation, and Source wants creation to awaken up to the fact that Source is just one moment, one thought, one idea. And when you love yourself, when you respect yourself, when you treat yourself with the utmost understanding that balancing your mind, heart, and soul, balancing your mental, physical, and spiritual, balancing the female, male, child aspects within you, that is loving who you are. That is understanding who you are because you are all them things. You are not just a man. You are not just a woman. Excuse me. You are not just a child. You are all these things. Meaning the aspects of your soul. Of course, there's different physical um, attributes that people have. Uh, and, and that's one thing I would like to discuss too. I am not judging or giving condemnation to those that think these thoughts, but I will give the understanding of why they think these thoughts. When someone thinks that they are a man when they are actually a woman, this is just a mistaken identity. This is just an illusion cast upon you. This is just ignorance. This is just not accepting what Source has created, because in reality, to say that you are something that you are not you were saying that Source did not create you this way. You were saying to yourself that I'd rather be this, but you are actually this. And you, basically it's an abuse of the natural science. It's the abuse of nature. For nature does not go against Source at all. Never has and never will. The only reason why nature is answering back and basically warning us to change our ways is because nature is one with source, and source is speaking through nature for us to know this. It is mother of creation that is speaking as well, the goddess of goddesses. And she wants us to change because we are destroying ourselves, we are destroying her heart, we are destroying the Father's heart. And, but it's okay in the sense of, it's not okay that we are doing these things, it is okay because we are going to change these things. And we will change these things because we are changing our minds and we are changing our hearts. We are understanding that we need to change. Getting back to the fact that when someone thinks there's something they're not, it is just a and like I said, the light will shine and all those will know the truth of it. And the only reason why they're thinking these things and doing these things is for purpose. It's for understanding of that ego, that selfish ego that we have inside of us. Whenever we think outside of the understanding of love, truth, and light, meaning just thinking for ourselves, or just thinking that we know what is right, meaning a fool knows 
or a fool thinks that they are always right. A fool thinks that whatever they do, they are right in the sense. I mean, I did explain that there is no right and wrong, but you were born with the understanding of what love is. You were born with the understanding that love does not abuse nature. Love embraces nature because nature is love and nature is one with love and love is one with source and one nature, one source, one love. So, I'm only saying these things to get the clarification of these things. I do not say these things to judge or say, oh, you need to change, or you better change, or you're going to be condemned. No, it has nothing to do with that, because I know all things that are ignorant will be exposed in light. I have no worries about this whatsoever, because Source is a revealing Source to you at this moment.